Welcome, Guillaume and Miria. Good evening, everyone. My name is Guillaume Kims. I'm the director of the Hispanic Society Museum and Library, and I am very pleased to welcome you virtually in, uh, well, you see, I'm in the, the special exhibition gallery at the Hispanic Society. It's a brand new space, and we are thrilled to inaugurate it with an incredible exhibition, very dear, very special to our part, uh, and that we do with NOMAD, the Northern Management Arts Alliance, and Boricua College, and it's dedicated to In the Heights, the, the movie. So it features the incredible story of the musicals and then the movie, I'm sure you've heard about it already. And obviously it features the neighborhood and the, the community, the people uh, living in the neighborhood. And to discuss this uh, incredible adventure, I'm very happy and, uh, and, and pleased to welcome and introduce uh, Nirya Leiva Gutierrez. Uh, she's the executive director uh, from Northern Manhattan Art Alliance. And uh, well, Nia, you earned uh, your BA in art history and Spanish literature from the Tufts University and a PhD in art history from the Institute of Fine Arts, uh, NYU. Um, Nia published scholar uh, in the field of Spanish and Latin American arts and served as a curator and museum advisor around the country and as an art history professor for 20 years before joining NOMA in 2020. And, and that's where you currently serve as uh, executive director. So welcome, Nirya, and thank you again for being with us tonight. And thank you again for this great collaboration uh, with this exhibition in the Heights, starting uh, today, actually, at the Hispanic Society until August the 14th. Thank you. It's such a pleasure to be here, and it's such a pleasure to be working with you and with the Hispanic Society uh, on this joint collaboration. Um, it's it's very exciting right now. I mean, all eyes are on Washington Heights, right? Um, and with the release of the film, of course, this week, um, the release uh, of the book that's coming out too, Finding Home um, by Lee Manuel Miranda and Chiara Alegria Hughes uh, and Jerry McCarter. Um, you know, I think the world is going to see uh, what, we, what we've always known, right, about Washington Heights. This is. Okay just an extraordinary place um and so to be able to work together uh in in this way on a film um that is written by a, a, a latino um about latinos with latino actors in a in a predominantly latino neighborhood um is is really an exciting uh moment so i thrilled to be perhaps you, you could share with us a bit about the origin of the project the genesis of both the, the musicals and the movie and the exhibition itself we, which tells this story actually yeah, I think I'm just going to share my screen a little bit so we can take a look. The, the exhibition um, and, and the way we, we sort of conceived of this, and I think what makes this, um, of course, so interesting is that we're talking here about a two decades long um, project, right? That really begins, um, you know, with a young man uh, leaving his home, leaving Washington Heights and going off to college. Um, and, and that sort of sense of, um, of community, of home, um, of, you know, a some sense of displacement of, of what all of that means um, led to the origins of, of what is now this major, major motion picture. Um, so this exhibition actually looks at that artistic trajectory, right? Sort of beginning um, with this Wesleyan period. And it's so fascinating because we have some really great um, early, early uh, images of, I mean, even the sort of sketch by Lee Manuel, uh, which is in the exhibition. Um, and we, we sort of retrace the entire uh, um, sort of uh, journey. Uh, you know, we talk about this sort of period in the early 2000s uh, when Lee Manuel has already graduated and he's come back home and he's sort of um, in the process of developing um, the musical uh, through his uh, off-Broadway period, through his Broadway period, uh, Tony Award winning, um, you know, extraordinary Broadway musical. Um, and then, around the world, um, you know, this concept of, of finding home, this concept of um, cultural connections, um, I think resonates um, outside of, I mean, certainly resonates here in Washington Heights, um, but I think so many uh, of the themes that are in this musical really do make connections with people around the world, and so we see that um, as well. Um, and then finally to the silver screen, which um, 
you know, I, I know, I think you've had the chance to see the film and I've had the chance to see the film. Um, and, and it really truly is uh, extraordinary. I mean, someone described it um, once as a love letter to, to New York. Um, and I think it's sort of- and, I, and I've heard it's the new West Side Story, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting. I mean, that's and that's a whole sort of conversation sort of unto itself. Um, but you know, it's it's a perfect. I think um, I think I think we need this right now. I mean, you know, it's it's um it's a beautiful film. It's full of joy. Um, it's clear that it was made from a place of joy and love and affection um, and deep deep understanding of the you know the cultural complexities, um, the question of immigration, and which really kind of takes on a new. Uh, um, um, sort of uh, sort of tone um, and and resonance in in the film, right? Um, you know, having sort of twenty years ago uh, some of the discussions that were part of the the early uh, musical um, today on film really um, hit home in in important ways. And it's about life. It's it's a, it's a, it's about you know it's a, it's about dream. It's about reality. It's all about that. And and I think it's it's quite timely after one year and a half of COVID, of this pandemic, that we are, we are dreaming, we're dreaming to, to go back to our life. And, and so this, this film is, this movie is really helping us, is really transitioning us from this very terrible time that the pandemic was, and we're kind of ending out of it. And, uh, and so, so I, it's, it's, it's really an important movie in this respect too. And, um, what do you think it means uh, for for the community, this movie and this exhibition? And perhaps we should clarify that this exhibition is a, a photograph exhibition. So it, it, it gathered it gather, uh, photographs uh, that are behind the scene photographs, uh, photographs of archives, captions from the musicals, captions from the movies. So it's all that. So it's really a journey through uh, the, 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 well, the making off of this great adventure. But yeah, let's go back to the community. What what do you think it, it means to the to the community? What do you think it means or will mean to New York and to the world? Well, I think you know, like I said before, I think um, you know this is this is an incredible community because it brings together so many diverse cultures from sort of from Latin America sort of and beyond. So this Latinx kind of um, community like no other. I mean, in that way, it's a very very unique um, neighborhood. To then um, see this on the silver screen in a major motion picture um, with friends and neighbors, with you know your local bodega, with the beautiful iconic bridge as a backdrop, um, and 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 to to, to to be a part of that, um, I think it's a really important moment um, for this for this community. It's 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 I would argue it's the first time um, that something. Oh my goodness! Uh, we have, we, have, we have a special guest i think don't we, we? Have a special guest here <laughs> talking about in the heights hi luis good to see oh, you hi. thank you for stopping by i know i heard you were going to be here and i said let's hurry up let's <laughs> well, well thank you thank you we were, we were we were just saying how much we love the the movie and actually I'm, I'm going to see it another time tomorrow i i saw it for the first time yesterday and i'm still Floating in the cloud. Are you going to be here tomorrow? Yes, I will. I will. <laughs> okay, I'm going to let you talk to Neri and, and I'll see you tomorrow and we'll catch Thank up. Thank you. See you. Thank you. Thank you. For... <laughs> well, that was fun and great. Um, yeah, I think there is, there is another thing is that, um, you know, uh, Washington Heights is, is on the map for the very first time for many people. I mean, I, 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 I used to live in Inwood and I just moved to Washington Heights, but, but for many New Yorkers, they may not have been uh, to Washington Heights ever. And so they, you know, the day after they see the movie, they will ask, where, where is that? I want to go, I want to see it. And, uh, and that's gonna, that's gonna change the many things uh, and, uh, and for the good, I think. I think that's right. And I think um, what's fascinating is, you know, we have this now. Oh, there was champagne popping. Um, <laughs> so this is all. Yeah, um, this is, you know, I think all happening on the Audubon Terrace. I mean, how exciting, right? an institution like the Hispanic Society, working with a local institution, a community organization like NOMA, and an academic institution like Boricua, 
um, all coming together, I think, um, is also, I, I think, a testament to, to the neighborhood and to um, these really important cultural institutions. And so I think you're right. It's time to let the world know about, um, about, about them, right, and about you and about us and, 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 these, and these collaborations in our neighborhood. And I think this is really a beautiful, wonderful way to do that. And, and something was very critical in the movie is, is, is the blackout that happened and that really key and also that showed how much this community this part of Manhattan what kind of left behind or underserved and and, and I mean can you explain a bit the what it entailed um, in the community well I mean I think um, you know it's 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 one of those uh, events that 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 sort of um, you know it's sort of the democratization right um, of of, of yeah. A, a, a kind of a, a suffering in, in a way. I mean, and I say suffering, but but that notion um, that an entire community um, is affected, and and in New York, it was this particular neighborhood for the most part that was affected in this way. Um, I, I think you know it's a light motif sort of throughout um, the, the the film, and then of course from the beginning as as well. Um, but I think what's most interesting about that is that it be, does become a community event, and I think it in Forms. So, and the response, I think, to this event really does um, demonstrate the character, I think, um, of, of this neighborhood. Um, and what's, what's your favorite scene in the in, in the movie? And and I'm sure it's illustrated in one of the photos that we that we display. I have to say, one of the things was so interesting because having watched the film just after COVID, um, I had this sort of excited energy because I saw people sort of congregating, you know, which also, you know, at first I felt very nervous. Um, but I think those scenes, and I'm showing both of the, those scenes here, those dance scenes where people are just out and they're hot. Um, and they but they are just, you know, um, they are with community. Uh, to me, felt really good at a time where, you know, we were all aching for community. Um, and then, of course, you know, I, I love the scene with, with the water, uh, um, you know, shooting out of, of the fire um, hydrants with the, again, with the bridge as this beautiful backdrop and kids running and, and everybody out on the streets, young and old. Um, and, and I think that those for me were the really special moments. Um, I love the Carnival del Barrio. I think this this. Which one? The Carnival del Barrio. Oh, yes. Beautiful. That, 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 that was incredible. And the pool scene, which, you know, we don't want to give too much away, right? But um, yeah, I think that was, that was amazing as well. Um, there's a lot to see, and I think that this exhibition does a, a really nice job of, of, of showing that, as I said, that sort of artistic journey. Um, and I think, uh, as you said, one of the, the things that we tried to do was to pair not only um, moments from the actual film or from the musical, um, but also um, stills from the community, um, sort of the behind the scenes, which I think um, will be so interesting for, for uh, not only Washington Heights residents and Inglewood but for, for New Yorkers and then for, for those outside of New York. So um, we hope um, and, and we welcome everyone um, uh, to, to the Audubon Terrace to, to see this. To see Absolutely. The movie is about pride and generosity. And, and this, is, this is kind of the spirit we want to, to foster too. So, well, thank you so much, uh, Niria. Uh, I also want to thank the, the many sponsors uh, who helped us to, to, to do the exhibition, to have this exhibition uh, happen. So I cannot name all of them, but I'd like to, to name Google, uh, Warner Bros, and the Miranda Family Fund, as well as the Grow at Annenberg, a special friend of the Hispanic Society. And we, we're very, very um, thankful and, and grateful for, for, their, for their support. So, Viva in the Heights and go see it. Tell your friends, you're, you know, you're going to spend two great hours. Really, really two great hours. Oh, we'll see you there. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you and so come much. The, and come visit the show. <laughs> come visit the show. It's, it's, it's open daily from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, at Audubon Terrace, Hispanic Society and Boricua College in collaboration with Noma. Great team. Thanks. Thank